In this video, I'm going to show you why Trip Side In has the perfect spacing in Madden 23 and allows you to literally attack the entire field with one play. Thanks for watching this video, guys, in advance. If you want to get my full Trips Tied In offensive ebook, uh, today we're in New England Patriots offensive playbook. You can get my full New England ebook by joining the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. And if you want to sign up for that, it's linked down in the description. I'll teach you everything that I know about John Madden football. We have over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon as of today. You'll get access to all of them. Literally everything is unlocked by becoming a member for just $10. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is down in the description. Would really encourage you to take advantage of it. Um, I think it's, I think especially at this point in the year where we have so much material in there that you can digest and I think will help you uh, take your Madden game to the next level. So today we're taking a look at PA slot corner. This is one of my personal favorite plays. It's been one of my favorite plays since the game came out. And we're going to show you how to use this play to literally attack every single coverage. Now you do need outside apprentice uh, to run this uh, per this specific setup. There is an alternate one that I'm going to give you in the video if you don't have that. Um, but let's get into it. So PA slot corner. What we're going to do is we're going to flat the middle trips receiver. We're going to post the outside trips receiver. And then we're going to end the tight end. That's literally it. You don't have to end route the tight end. If you think it's man coverage and you want to have a corner route, you can have corner route. I really like the in route for zone purposes. Now, if you want to wheel the running back, you can wheel the running back. If you want to block the running back, you can block the running back. If you want to leave the play action, you can leave the play action. Um, but what makes this play so special is the fact that it is these three routes here on the left side are going to basically create a triangle read for us. And what you're going to see is the primary read is this corner route. We're going to free form pass lead that outside into the sideline and as you can see it is very very effective against zone now that is cover four now uh, i'm going to show you a little bit of a, a little bit of a dollar style of cover four where we're going to get that baseline press um they're going to shade down to try to stop this little flat route and what you'll see here is this is still going to get open even without gunslinger i'm able to throw this or um, set feet lead i'm able to throw this I would definitely recommend set feet lead on your quarterback, okay? Um, I really would, but you can throw this without it, okay? I wanted to show you that you don't have to have, you know, the best quarterback in the world to make this throw. You can actually do it with Derek Carr. We're going to free form down and outside. It's going to take that ball and put it right where only our receiver can catch the ball. Now, you put Aaron Rodgers or John Elway or any quarterback, for that matter, with set feet lead on this throw, you're going to see a lot more success, uh, in my opinion. So really, really, really good route. Now, the other thing that I want to show you um, with this play is uh, specifically against cover four baseline and press cover four is something interesting. So because we have our trips to the wide side, we're going to have great spacing with this play. And what you're going to notice is you can, there is a window right there where we can actually throw this and have a chance for a dot over the top of the cover four defense. Now to do that, um, you would want to go ahead and take that tight end uh, and either put him, leave him on the corner route or put him on a curl. Um, you can playmaker the curl inside, of course, if you wanted to do that. Um, but what you'll see is he's going to hold that inside quarter. And then now we're just going to free form, pass lead that guy to leverage. And you see that we have a chance for a one-on-one. -on -one. Now in this year's game, that's actually a pretty consistent read over the top. Now, not only is this good against cover, um, not only is this good against cover four, but this is also really, really, really good against cover two. You're going to notice here the deep halves are still completely broken in this game. And as you can see, this is going to bomb cover four over the top as well. So they're in a position where if you have a stud receiver out there that can actually win um, consistently, this is one of the best plays in the game because it's going to beat man, it's going to beat the zone as well. Now, one of the most popular tactics right now in Madden is to run some variation of, you know, cover three with some man ups or just straight man coverage. You'll see here, same kind of thing against cover three that we were seeing against cover four. We have that nice corner route uh, to the left side. Now, I'm going to get to man coverage in just a second, but this is primarily a really, really effective. It's an everything beater for sure, but it's really good against zone. Um, so if it's cover three, I want to show you something real quick. That corner route is going to take that safety one step to the right and again you're going to have this bomb over the top um, it doesn't always it's not always perfect by any means especially if you don't have set feet lead um, if you have set feet lead this bomb is really 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 good um, but what i will say is by and large you're going to have a, at least a window 
free form and put it over here where only your receiver can get it. Right there, uh, Thornhill actually played pretty well. But, again, don't sleep on that. With set feet lead, it's definitely at least a look. Um, and, and a lot of times you'll find out that people might only put a third over there to stop the C route. They may have nobody uh, in the middle of the field. So just something to think about. But And part of this is Adams' speed is, is significantly lower than Thornhill's. But bottom line is at least look at it. If it's there, take it. If, it's, if he has a step and you have a speedy guy out there, you know, take the read. I got Jalen Waddell out there. He can make that play because of his uh, of his high speed. All right, so I wanted to uh, spend the last couple of minutes. I actually wanted to talk about um, something else real quick with you guys, and that is the, the odd of, you know, kind of something interesting. So let's say that they use the corner route, which I actually see a lot. Um, that's the whole purpose of this tight end in route. So if the middle of the field is vacated, and we can just take this little check down right here, Super simple, easy reads, easy money against the defense. If their user runs to the post or if he runs uh, to that corner route, then you have that as a check down. Now, let's talk about man coverage here for just a second. Um, Hunter Renfro is not like a stud by any means, but you'll see here if it's cover one, if I free for, and of course I'm going to butcher the throw. Um, he's typically going to win against man, especially if you have short in elite if you have short in elite on that player he's gonna win against against man if you don't sometimes he does not win against man um obviously it's a read for a reason but a lot of times you're gonna be able to free form and pass lead down and outside or just outside and get a pretty decent animation um on this i'll show it to you again here and then we'll talk about the uh we'll talk about the in route which is really the best read i think but anyway just boom there you see it open Okay, now, um, again, short and elite, faster receiver, you're going to get better separation than what I'm getting in the video. But the other thing that I want to show you is actually a really popular concept where they're going to cross man this guy and they're going to put a third over there to stop, you know, your C routes or stuff like that. You have this tight end quick read. So if you want, if you need to take the tight end, take the tight end. But you also have a one-on-one -on -one here where you could potentially, you know, get your ag on if you want to. Now we'll say, by and large, if they do that specific adjustment and they have a fast fast player, sometimes it can be hard for that post uh, to get consistent separation over the top of the defense. However, um, let me show you one other thing about man real quick, and that is this. If they are in this man alignment, you're actually going to have more success because this post or this corner now is going to get really good uh, separation off of a press animation. So if they're pressing you, it's actually better for your offense, in my opinion, because this corner route will just get better separation. The post will get better separation as well. But what you'll see primarily, that corner route, freeform that over the defender. Hunter Renfro is, is terrible, but he's there, right? If I put Devontae Adams where Hunter Renfro is, you know, he'd be cooking him every single time. So, you know, you'll... Trust me on this one. Like, if he has short and elite, it's fairly consistent as a man beater for you. That time, uh, Adams actually got open, so we can take our post. But man, man coverage, um, this is also where if you want to put this wheel to the running back, um, what you can do is kind of throw it over the, over the shoulder like that. Really consistent man beater. Uh, we teach you how to do that in the Patreon. Uh, that's kind of a specific thing and specific animation you're looking to get. But... By and large, this is one of my favorite, favorite plays. There you see a real nice throw. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to make the catch. But you see, like, if you can get that animation where he just gets that little step of separation, um, and then you're just going to throw it to leverage. You see, you get that catch right there, and you're going to be able to dot him up against man. Love this concept. Love this play. Love this offense. If you want to learn New England trips, make sure you're in our Patreon. we got a full ebook on this. We've updated it several times throughout the year. We're going to be dropping another update uh, right around the corner for you guys as well. So we're getting right on defense right now. We released three new defensive ebooks in the last week, but we're also getting right on offense too. So a lot of trip stuff coming out or right around the corner. Some brand new offense that we haven't talked about yet we're going to be releasing as well. So make sure you're in the Patreon, right? You get uh, for 10 bucks, you get full access to everything. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is down in the description below. Thanks for watching. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.